So next one, I've not been to, a friend of mine's been to and can't get over there. So I'm gonna go and fit the parts that they diagnosed. It's just no hot water on an old Valent Turbo Max 828. The old one with a light L-shaped diverter type thing. So I haven't worked on one of them in ages. So I'm actually quite looking forward to it. Probably gonna live to regret that. So we're on this Turbo Max Pro 2080. Um, hot water's not working, heating seems to be working fine. Looks like the diverter valve isn't motoring over. So I'm gonna swap that out because it doesn't do anything on heating or water. Just stays in the same place, so I'll swap that out and then maybe see if the plate needs cleaning. Pressure gauge is blocked as well. Moment of truth, hot water demand. Seems to be running hot. So, still not running. I'm gonna take the plate out because I think it might be that blocked up and it was in a bit of a state. So, I'll undo that connection, undo them two push fix at the back there. Then I'll have access to change the pressure gauge as well. Straight away you can see, it's got quite a little bit of muck in it, you can hear it as well, so let's give that a good clean out. Everything's back in. Cleaned out the plate. I didn't show that just because it's boring. Everything's running. Everything's staying hot. Well, that turned into a nightmare. I took the plate in and out three times. The bottom right mains connection just wouldn't seal. I changed the washer twice or the O-ring twice on it. Tried it with grease. Tried it with PTFE. Yeah, eventually got it to do but yeah that was the problem plate was gone stopping the hot water the diverter needed replacing as well that was all leaking don't know if you saw that but it was all rusted so maybe i'll take a picture of that and attach it to this but yeah another job down And this job now where a customer's got really bad water hammer she had a bathroom fitted and ever since then it's been really bad she didn't have it before um she paid the company to come back to fit a shock arrestor which i did on the mains but it's quite a small one and when i did some testing when i was here before it seemed that turning the cold mains into the boiler off stopped the water hammer everywhere so I'm going to replace this one here because it's also leaking really badly that they've already fitted, but she didn't want them back. And then I'm going to fit a new one close to the boiler. So here's the one they've already fitted. Let's get my torch on it. So you can see it's leaking out of there. Last time I was here, I did try to remake that joint. And it just didn't, didn't do it. So, yeah. It's going to get swapped out for one of these, which I've had good experiences with before. Then there's a second one for up by the boiler. I've got to cut into 
that panel there to access the pipes is the plan love this stuff first and third thread you put it on but i just smother it a little bit it's rapid blue Stupidly, I've put this on first, which is now probably going to make it really difficult to get to them nuts. But what can you do? I know what you're all going to say. If I was using standard PTFE, <laughs> I could have unwound it again, but I'm not. So, leave that to dry. By the time I've done the work up there, it should have dried. I think this piece of pipe is going to be the perfect length so I can put that in now I've only got the one little nut to worry about which is in the most awkward position but what can you do so that's ready to go Really good stuff, rapid blue. Not sure how much of this you can see. coming out there so I won't put that in yet. So I've just found there was a piece of copper in the bottom of there and at the top someone's put an insert in. Doesn't pose much confidence does it? See that? I think my arm's been in the way of everything. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. So a lot neater than all of that. But yeah, hopefully that's better there. And no leaks. Let's move on to the next bit. So there we are, that's all in. Just waiting for it to dry a bit before I turn the mains back on. Hoping that this solves the issue. Um, can't really see anything else that would help. When I was here before, I went round and could only kind of narrow it down to being a lot worse when a hot tap was run. When I closed the cold mains on the boiler right down, that completely shut it off, it stopped. Um, and leaving the flow like really reduced just to barely running through just enough for her to shower it was very quiet so it's a lot better than it was so that was a success it worked no more water hammer i'm happy customer's happy and she's already paid the bill before i got in the van everyone's a winner so yeah i don't know what changed when the bathroom was done 
that caused it. I'm sure someone will have some kind of scientific explanation that they can pop in the comments for me because as I'm sure you're all aware, um, I don't really have much plumbing knowledge. You're probably saying I don't have any boiler knowledge too. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't really do much general plumbing as such. So it would be interesting to find out. Let me know. So next is a, I don't know why I'm filming from this angle. Next is a breakdown, no heating, no hot water on a Green Star Junior, just going to ignition fault. So yeah, I don't know what that is. Could be anything, probably an ignition fault. Well, it is an ignition fault, I just said that. But yeah, now I'm rambling. Go look at the job. Thought this would be quite an interesting one for you to see. It is going to reset instantly it does one spark and locks out so obviously my first thing to do was to check to see whether the gas valve was opening up it's not next is to check across the ohms on these so top two, I'm getting 395, bottom one, I'm getting 175, which is all the readings. I've got another video on this previously. Um, but yeah, that's what they should be. There's no volts DC to either of these. But the reason is, not the PCB, but it is that. So you link that out and straight away boiler fires up. But this creates a resistance and then the gas valve doesn't open up. So I'm gonna go and get a new flu stamp. So there we are, that one for a little bit of a curveball because I was initially thinking circuit board, but yeah, obviously then sort of rusted flu limits that. And from my experience, I remembered that happening before. I think it happened on the first video I ever posted here. Um, and I remembered all the checks from my previous video and obviously previous experiences. So yeah, that one's done. They are happy because they are warm and although it's really sunny out. Huh? I don't know what's next, let's see. So I've been called to this fault now on this Valent Ecotech Plus. And the problem that the customer's reporting is that the heating is just on all the time. So if I feel this red, it's on. Thermostat is turned down to 19 degrees. But as you can see, it's showing 23 degrees. I'm gonna suspect that where it's in comfort mode, so it constantly preheats the plate heat exchanger to get your hot water a bit quicker. I'm gonna suspect that the diverter valve is letting by and just constantly sending heat down the flow pipe. So that's roasting hot. So the only way to check that really is to, one or two ways, one, your normal checks to see if the diverter valve is letting by. I run the hot water, see if the flow pipe gets hot. A bit hard to do at the moment because it's already warm. And the other thing will be to turn the comfort mode off, leave it on test and see if it stops. And the rides only get hot when you're running the hot water. I think that's going to be the problem. Yeah, that's getting pretty hot instantly. I think that's going to be the issue. So the only way to tell, as I say, to prove that is by Turning the comfort mode off. So we turn that down and back up. If you go all the way, we'll put the C on. All the way the other way takes the C off. Thanks for watching them. Hopefully interesting. Um, a few different bits and pieces on there. Look, no uniform today. It is dress down Tuesday. Um, I don't work Tuesdays. And I'm just filming this ready to upload. So yeah, hopefully you're enjoying the channel. Again, interact in the comments. Let me know if there's anything you wanna see. I've got a few interesting things coming up, hopefully, if I can put them together. Um, now the summer's here, work's dying off a bit, so it should give a little bit more time. 
and yeah, a few bits and pieces on wiring and stuff like that. Fingers crossed. And more tool stuff. We love tool stuff. Uh, didn't get to the Alexandra Palace show the other day at Tool Fair. If anyone did go, let me know again in the comments. Be interesting to see what you all thought of it and whatnot. So I think the next show is probably Installer. Um, hearing mixed opinions on that, especially with regards to the advertising and that. So again, let me know. Let's talk about it in the comments. But yeah, subscribe. See you next week.